Hello, I'm Barry Sullivan, Director of Program Development for the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department Heads Association. It's my pleasure to introduce this spotlight presentation by Ian Burgess, Higher Education Program Development Manager for Mentor Graphics. And Ian will be speaking on teaching using state-of-the-art design tools. Thank you very much, and thank you everyone for uh, coming. It's a pleasure to be here um, at ACEDAR. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, mentor graphics first of all, and then what we're doing uh, in partnership with universities to drive new methodologies uh, into the education environment uh, so that students graduate fully pr proficient in the methodologies and tools that our customers need. Many of you probably have heard of mentor graphics. We're an electronic design automation company, an EDA company, and a, a pioneer and an innovator in advanced design solutions. Uh, we were founded in 1981. We're the oldest EDA company that is still going as a standalone entity. Um, we're now running uh, revenues at uh, over a billion dollars a year, about 24% of the worldwide EDA market. And one of the fundamental aspects of, of our strategy is we're focused on growth through internal development. Uh, things like um, initially simulation from Model Sim or Calibre, which um, came to prominence probably 15, 16 years ago. Those are tools and solutions that we've developed forward organically and internally. And that is vital, therefore, that we do partnerships in research with uh, uh, technologists, professors, universities to enhance our tools, to, to bring new methodologies, to keep those at the forefront of engineering. We're located in 28 countries now around the world. Um, the R&D offices, you can see there are in yellow, uh, sales offices, and of course that is sales and technical support uh, in red, um, still focused and uh, with our headquarters and in the United States. <clears throat> our interactions come in two forms. The higher education program, which I'll talk about in a, in a moment, but also in research. As I said, our fund fundamental belief is to continue internal development of our products, and that means keeping ahead of the game, keeping at the forefront of the technology, making sure that we recruit the best technologists. And those come through clearly through our partnerships in academic research, development of new algorithms and architectures with universities. So we have sponsored research and internships. We participate in several research organizations such as SRC, uh, industry consortia like UC Berkeley Impact, and of course the NSF. I'm here to talk about the higher education program and the good news is, if you want one, you've probably got it. Uh, we have 340 members of the higher education program having at least some of our tools here in, the, in North America and more than 1,500 universities and colleges having our tools worldwide. The program provides virtually all of the Mentor Graphics products available for a, a small annual support fee. So you can get some of them for just $500 a year, if you want the full gamut, which actually includes areas of mechanical engineering and automotive these days, it's about 3,000 a year. That is for as many seats and licenses as you need. We want all the students to get maximum access for minimal cost. And so if you've got a lab with 20 students using it, 20 licenses. Some, some of our, the top universities have more than 100. Obviously, there's the customer support, training for faculty, staff, and I'll talk about this in more detail, access to available curriculum support material. So what are the objectives of the higher education program? Uh, we've heard it already in some of the other presentations. We need to ensure that graduates have the key technical skills to hit the road running from day one in their career. And that is a challenge now because our customers' uh, requirements are changing. The products are getting more complex. Electronic design and verification is getting more complex all the time. So our customers need to get access to and recruit productive and trained graduates from day one. And from a mentor perspective as well, we need graduates in the market because we're always bringing out tools 
enhancing the methodologies, meeting the new challenges. So we need engineers trained, most importantly in the methodologies, and preferably in our tools, from day one as well. And also, of course, there's the point that we can recruit the best graduates. And actually, on a point there, one of the things that we've noticed is the best of our application engineers and our technical marketing engineers, so not just the software engineers that write the tools, are now being recruited directly from universities. Why? Because there are new methodologies. There's only so many people out there, quite you know, relatively few, that know those methodologies straight away in our customers. We can train the customers, and we do. We can provide consulting, and we do. But the best way to get faster and greater adoption is to have graduates that can uh, use the methodologies and the tools from day one. And that also includes us, Mentor Graphics. We can't just go poaching from our customers now. They don't particularly like it anyway. But in these areas, we need the uh, engineers that can actually go and support the customers on the methodologies, working with them on their designs, getting the tools adopted. So how do we go about that? Well, clearly we work with our customers. We need to identify their graduate recruitment needs and skill sets. Part of that we know, obviously, because we're developing and working with them to develop our tools. We also work with the universities that they recruit from. But we want to do that from ultimately so everyone, all universities, get the benefit of that. So we work with universities and colleges to develop curriculum that meets those new skill sets. That could be new courses. It could be adapting existing courses. One example, for example, DSP design. If you now have automation in there that can investigate architectures and things, then you can actually be a more productive DSP course. And of course, Using the tools in actual design projects is, is very key. So things like senior and capstone design projects, that's particularly important in areas such as our PCB design, where um, from what we've seen, um, senior projects do ultimately end up on a PCB. What we provide there is additional support, regular meetings. We actually have our AEs go and support the professors and support the instructors and whoever is doing the teaching, the teaching assistants, to ensure that those courses can be uh, run, um, to understand that they, to see that they meet the needs, and obviously then so that we can market them and provide them to other universities. Here's a simplified view of the EDA market. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail, but what used to be at the top there, design of RTL, is now system level design, platform level design, functional verification. There's a greater emphasis, of course, on mixed signal, multi-corner, multi-mode, place and route, and physical verification, which 15 years ago was DRC LVS, is now fundamentally designed for manufacturing, designed for yield improvement, test diagnostics. And of course, PCB design now is more than just a PCB design, it's high-speed design and analysis and integrated PCB and FPGA design. I'm going to take a look at just two of these to see what we're doing with Mentor Graphics in curriculum and with the universities. Let's take a look at that concept of verified RTL, which um, is now platform-based in ESL, and the key thing there, scalable functional verification. Today's functional verification is more than just simulation. Designs are growing 2x every 18 months. The requirements are growing faster. The designs done today get embedded in the systems of tomorrow or next year. And you've got to get much more verification productivity to get your products to market. And of course, with designs getting larger, the, uh, the possibility of errors lurking in the designs is very much more a major impact. So verification expands much more now beyond simulation. Where we used to have, for example, model sim, which does VHDL and Verilog simulation, we now have to deal with um, things like assertions, test bench automation. We've got to ensure now that not just does the design work according to your simulation, your test bench, but does your test bench actually cover and test the whole design? Are there parts of the design 
aren't being covered by the test bench where errors could be lurking that can come back and bite you later on in the design process or even worse during the, uh, with the finished product. So assertions, designing with verification in mind, test bench automation where the test bench doesn't cover the particular part of the design, helping the designer or the verification engineer by doing things like constraint rate of random vector generation. And then you also have to manage this. And of course, at the end of the day now, we also have emulation. And that's not just to speed up the verification, which it does, but also to give many more degrees of freedom, for example, using real-time data to actually verify the design. So what we've done here um, is focus on, initially, North Carolina State University uh, utilizing our Questor environment, which if you know ModelSim is actually built on top of, uh, uh, Questor is built on top of ModelSim. It's a full semester course. The key aspect to this is obviously it teaches things like assertions on the screen there, but it provides a, provides a full set of labs and projects. And when you think about this, in a verification environment, you're actually looking for errors. So these labs and these examples and the designs for these projects have errors inserted into them that the students go look for. <clears throat> Another aspect is physical verification and test. Uh, our caliber tools have been greatly enhanced now to handle manufacturability, resolution enhancement, but also now combined with our test tools. Some, you know, you know about scan insertion and uh, uh, ATPG. Well, now that goes to more things like yield enhancement, diagnostics. So things like combining uh, the results of an ATPG run, a compressed ATPG run because you need many more vectors, looking at different fault models and feeding that back in the, into the design to improve yield. Again here, we've done this, this case with Poznan University, a full semester course covering the fundamentals of test, fault models, ATPG, compression, memory testing, and the like. Again, a full course available. We have another number of other curriculum partners, kind of a role of honor if you like. Portland State University has gone beyond the functional verification space uh, to in include emulation. Analog mixed signal um, with Santa Clara and Budapest University. High level synthesis and ESL with Georgia Tech. And many cases there of PCB design. Uh, and in fact, with the University of Colorado Boulder, we're doing video-oriented PCB courses, which should be coming along probably within the next six months to a year. They're being tested right now. Just one other thing to finish up on here. Um, we are now looking to go beyond ECE. We won't be neglecting you, but there are other aspects now of product and system design, such as computer science, automotive with mechanical engineering, where these tools are also going for uh, uh, product design. An example of which here, automotive, you think of all the electronic control unit, electrical control units in the car with, and its harness and the fact that these are on buses and all those uh, ECUs have got to be scheduled for safety critical. Um, there's been a lot of manufacturing recalls of some high-end models there and there are now tools that we are looking and we, we're working now with universities to get curriculum de developed in this space as well. So in summary, it really is important that we prepare students for an industrial career. It's for them and for our customers, for Mentor Graphics and for the universities. Our customers have the key requirements and they're changing constantly. We need to keep up to date with it. They and us need those skills developed early. That means new methodologies, new design skills, new courses. And so partnering on curriculum and projects and making them available is vital. Um, just to wrap up, if you are interested, the best way to contact us, I do quite a bit of travel, is to email higherededucation at mentor.com, fairly easy uh, uh, email address to look at, and I'll be very happy to discuss these with you uh, going forward. Thank you very much.